Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitara Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix S23 Ultra keep uh, the SIM card is not working or not detecting. So right now I had this issue regarding this but it worked for me when I removed the, S, uh, removed the SIM card and when I reinsert it back it fix it. Right now as you can see there is the cellular data so the, uh, the connection the range can be seen from here. So how, when you're having these kind of issue, how you can fix it? Sir? You can try this on S23, S23 Plus, and even on the S23 Ultra as well. The first one, when you're having this particular issue, the first step, what we need to do is we just need to do a restart on your S23 Ultra. So to do a restart, we can do this. So there is a power button over here. As you can see, there's a power button. There is a volume button over here. We have to press the volume down and we have to press the volume, uh, the power button all together in order to get the uh, restart. So let me press this over here. You can see my this particular finger represents the volume down and this particular finger represents the power button. So what I'm doing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press both the power button. Sorry, it's not working. Let me press this together. So when I press this together, I'll be getting this option. So I have to go for a restart. Once the restart is successfully done, what I need to do is I just need to check whether the issue is solved or not. So this is what you have to do as the first step. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to try reinserting the same. So this particular step did work it for me. So what I did is I just uh, ejected the SIM tray and I reinserted the SIM once again and it worked for me. So you can try this one as well. So what you need to do is we just need to reinsert it back. You have to keep in mind that is very important that uh, for many users when they reinserted the SIM, it did work it because uh, it might be an issue with some kind of technical issue. When they reinserted it back, it worked for them. So you can try this out. So even after trying with the restart and uh, doing the uh, reinserted the SIM, if the issue is still there, then you can move to the third and the rest coming steps. The third step is all about we need to check the internet, I mean check your network. For example, if you're using any particular company's SIM card, you have to make sure that they're not going through any kind of issue. For example, here I'm over here as you can see, I'm using a company named Geo, which means which is uh, which uh, very much uh, available in India. So uh, if any if they're going through any kind of network issue, definitely I'll not be able to have the range over here or I'll be having the SIM card issue as well. So I have to cross check whether we are going through any kind of issue and also you have to make sure that the geography where you are living in, the respective SIM card network is available for you or it is accessible or else you will be having the trouble as well. Fourth step is all about, we need to update the OS which is very important. So I found it from the Reddit. For many users, when they reinserted the SIM card, it worked like I said, which worked for me as well. For many users, when they updated the OS, it did work for them as well. So just go over here in the settings. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to software update. Just go over here, download and install. Make sure this is fine. So we have to resume the download, which is very important. So here we're in the middle of video, so I'm gonna skip this up. If you wanted to show it, I'll be doing like this. So you can, uh, if you're having a good internet connection, it is very fast and it will be done. So hence we're in the middle of video, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time. Let me directly get into the next step. Even after updating the OS, if it's still, if you're having the issue, you can move to the fourth step. That is all about, we have to do a factory reset on your iPhone. So uh, in order to doing the factory reset, which I recommend you in most cases is all about, you can try doing a factory reset. Along with that, you can also, after trying with this, you can also try the factory uh, network reset as well, which means not factory, you can do a network reset. So just go over here in the settings, keep scrolling down and navigate to about phone, scroll down and navigate to reset option, tap on the reset. Now we have two options. The first one I'm recommending you can go for reset network settings. After you're done with the recent network settings, you can check whether the issue is solved or not because most probably when you try with the recent network settings, the issue will be completely fixed. Even still, if you're having the issue, you can go for the next one that is all about, we can go for factory data reset. That will be working fine as well. You can go for factory data reset. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with SIM card is not detecting or it is not working on your S23, S23 Ultra and even on S23 Plus and how we can fix this up. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.